But first at five, the CBS 46 vaccine team is here to separate facts from fiction to help you and your family get the most accurate information on the COVID-19 pandemic and vaccine. New cases surging across the country because of the Delta variant and lack of full vaccinations. Not much change in the number of Georgians vaccinated over the past two weeks. 45% of the state has gotten at least one dose of the vaccine so far. 40% are fully vaccinated. That's a change of 1% over that period of time. CBS 46 has live team coverage tonight, and let's start with Haley Mason, who's live from the Morehouse School of Medicine. Haley. Hi there, Rick. We're right outside the front of the School of Medicine here at Morehouse, where uh, top health officials, influencers, ministers, and celebrities all join together inside that building to try to discuss and add solutions to the challenge of getting people to trust this vaccine and make it a normal thing. They're saying as the Delta variant gets more serious, remaining unvaccinated becomes much more risky. It is one of the most infectious respiratory viruses we know of and that I have seen in my 20 year career. The CDC director today expressing concern about the new Delta variant of the coronavirus. At the same time, this roundtable happening at the Morehouse School of Medicine in partnership with the Peach State Health Plan, bringing together Georgia's top health officials and state leaders, as well as ministers and influencers to talk about the challenges of getting vaccines into arms. I'm hopeful if we can continue to promote the vaccination, particularly getting vaccinations out to the community, um, that we'll be able to block this. The group bringing together different background knowledge and experiences to talk about why so many people have been hesitant and how to overcome it. One of the most common issues is lack of trust in the vaccine. When you look at why they won't get the vaccine, a lot of it had to do how it was developed or how it was presented. This warp speed thing, it was, it was developed too quickly. Uh, they didn't understand and, and we didn't educate people. Former Falcons wide receiver Harry Douglas served as a celebrity guest hoping to encourage vaccination. Kids t tend to draw towards athletes, um, entertainers, actors, actresses. So if I can be a role model and lead these kids down the right direction, I'm going to do it every day, all day. Uh, that's just who I am. The panel happening as these graphs show new data with only a few counties in Georgia showing hot spots in red for total cases in the last two weeks. But deaths in total across the state have been widespread. Also noted with deep red. New data today showing 1,258 new confirmed COVID cases in Georgia, 16 new deaths and 78 hospitalizations. And overall, those numbers are a lot lower than we had seen at some of the more deadly peaks of the pandemic. Talking to Dr. Toomey, the health commissioner for Georgia, she has a plea for family doctors on how they can help push this vaccine effort forward. We'll have more of that coming up next hour at 6. Reporting live outside of the Morehouse School of Medicine, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank you.